It looks at this aren't to everyone's taste at all and for me it's it's had to grow on me so just before the limiter. If you do see that just ignore it, it's like a sausage coming out. Ooh. Well, the chassis is brilliant, I don't think I'm, I'm giving it as much credit as it deserves. My knob's twisted! It's just mi I think it's just missing that. Welcome back to another episode of Geared. Apologies that there's been no uploads or anything recently. I've had a little bit of a time out. Uh, work has been absolutely crazy. It was my 30th birthday, so I did have a few days off for that. And then I've not long come back from the Nürburgring as well. I just went over in the new daily, uh, sold the BMW 330D, and I've now got uh, another Mark V Golf TDI. I picked it up quite cheap. But we're here today at Cadwell Park, as you can probably tell. And I'm not gonna lie, wetter than an otter's pocket is putting it politely. It is absolutely hoofing down. Before we do get going, again, I just wanna say a massive thank you to all the support. I'm really overwhelmed by it. It's not my job. I work six days a week, so I do hardly get any time to film or edit. But the comments and everything like that have been absolutely brilliant. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so I can keep bringing you content like this. So today, as you've probably already seen, we were going to be driving Jay's Honda Civic Type R FK8. Now this is the newest Civic Type R. These are no longer naturally aspirated. They are turbocharged from the factory. They don't rev as high either. I have driven an FK2, which is the previous model, and that was actually on the road. But this one is a wet track, obviously, and the FK8 is meant to be a lot better. So I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel and seeing if it has still got that Honda heritage, that Honda feel like what I'm used to. Obviously I had the EP3 in the past and I would love revving the car out and putting the K20 in the Clio. That one's going to be naturally aspirated. So how is this one going to fare compared to older generation Civics? Is it still the same? I don't know. Okay then Jay, Civic Type R FK8. Yes. Yeah, how long have you owned this? Uh, I've had it since the start of June. Right, um, okay. I like it. Yeah. Best. Happy? Yes, it's the first time I've used it on a track today. Um, and as you can see, it's raining and I'm surprised. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be handling it okay? Yep. Yeah. With uh, with the Contact Sport 6 is on from Continental, it seems to be holding onto the road pretty damn good. That's good, that's good. And modification wise not really much done to it yet no not yet not uh, at the moment it's got a resonator delete and yeah. both of the back boxes for the either side exhaust both deleted as well okay so it's a little bit louder than standard yeah yeah just a bit okay and there's no map on it nothing no i haven't mapped it as of yet uh, it probably will receive some breathing modifications uh, probably an intercooler and then it'll have to be mapped and before this you had a Mark 6 Fiesta ST. Uh, we actually done a video at Anglesey, but I wasn't quite happy with the footage, so I'll try and insert a clip if I can. We overcooked it then a bit, couldn't get it into third. My knob's twisted! Does that 
compared to this? Because obviously that was a pretty much all out track car, wasn't it? Was yeah. it two, 215 brake? Yeah, yeah, 215 with uh, an LSD in it, stripped out, and it was quite a beast. Yeah. Uh, this is on another level, it's comfy, it was quiet. <laughs> um, and this runs rings around it in every way, shape and form. It's got the power. I'm pretty confident to say that it'll hold the road as well because of the big tyres on it. Yeah. Um, Go, going on them uh, on the tyres, the the sidewalls, they're, they're quite short, uh, like the low profile, aren't they? Like 30? Yes, they're yeah. 2, 4, 5, 30, 20. Is it other 20, are they? Yes. Yeah, yeah well, they that's big. <laughs> they're big allies. Well, I'm looking forward to this because obviously I'm a big Honda fan. I haven't driven an FK8 before, especially around a track. So, with it being turbocharged and me being used to having my old EP3 as turbocharged, it should be quite interesting. Yes, yeah. It's, uh, it's a, bit, a bit laggy. Yeah. Uh, whenever you put your foot down, it takes a couple of seconds for the turbo to kick in. Yeah. But it's nothing a map won't sort. Okay. Happy days, mate. Ah, uh, forgot about my gloves. Yeah, so if you do see that, just ignore it. It's like a sausage coming out. Okay then, so Civic Type R FK8. So in first impressions, it, do it doesn't feel like you're in a Honda. It, it feels a little bit too refined. It feels like I'm in a German car, um, like an M3. But that's uh, that's moving. That is that's like you know, 111 mile an hour. That the turbo is co coming in really nice. It doesn't give you it doesn't give you that sort of VTEC feel. There's no VTEC feel at all. It's it's all very much turbo. Uh, similar sort of feel to the to the Megane. Like that turbo is coming in nice and low. I mean, it, it's hard to hard to gauge how much grip this has got. Well, apparently these have got so much grip in the drive. And that's third. Just before the limiter, that gearbox it, it's nice and it's got it's got a bit of an older Honda feel to the box. I mean, 110 brakes, brakes are, are good. It feels like the computers, are, although it's in R mode, it feels like the computers are helping you out a lot. Slippy down there, but the turning it is through, it's nice, it's got that new it's got that new steering feel, that electric steering feel like a lot of new cars do, which I just can't I can't get to grips with it. But it's it's very easy to drive. You know, I haven't you haven't, you haven't got to be uh, brilliant to drive this quick at all. Would I have one? Uh, no. Would I have one over a Golf R? Yes. Yeah, I would. Um, well, the chassis is brilliant. I don't think I'm, I'm giving it as much credit as it deserves. Electronic, uh, I think is the is the word I'd say, but not so balanced under braking. Chassis very capable, and I can see why people get these to like 400 horsepower because it, it just handles it. Using that tool, you haven't got to rev it all the way up. You can just short shift it. And yet you'll still be moving because that turbo is is spalling. 
when you're changing gear it feels like it's launching you forward between the gear changes it's quite it's not like uh, like a, an older like an older car where you've got to rev it all the way up and you drop out of the boost and everything it feels like it's keeping it there it's keeping that optimal power where you need it to every time you change gear so that, that little like boom it, it like throws you forward and looks of this aren't to everyone's taste at all and for me it's it's had to grow on me uh, I think I prefer the look of the, the FK2 the previous model I think they just look a little bit a little bit more subtle this is very low it's very out there you got the vortex on the on the rear window and then you got the absolutely massive spoiler that I can, I can see in my mirror I didn't have to drop it down or anything. Use that torque for the corner. And that's 115 miles an hour. Hard on the brakes. Come on, stop, that's it. <laughs> yeah, feel the traction control keeping me all, all in line and stable. It feels similar computer wise. To the to a GTR really, it's keeping you all in line. Not nowhere near as raw as an older Civic. It's just I think it's just missing that that Honda, that Honda, that old Honda that you got to really drive hard to actually work for the speed, work for the performance. I haven't really got to work for this. It's doing a lot of it for me. Over, miss the curbs. We don't want to hit the curbs. Hit the curb then. Oh. It does really pull you out the bends. That's quite surprising. Like the dip, it felt the diff locking up then. Just trying to put the power to the correct wheels that it wants getting a bit out of shape there but again I didn't have to do what they're flipping out a pheasant <laughs> now Honda you've done an absolutely brilliant job of making a road car into a track car of a weekend it is really good in that aspect very impressed with it very impressed with the handling how the power is delivered is absolutely brilliant and you can feel where, where the car is it's just that electric feel of the wheel not massive fan on but it is handling these conditions so well yeah it's just missing that that Honda feel like you got to drive but you know, credit to Honda, so fair play. Uh, I hope you did enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to give Jay a follow on Instagram. And I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.